Acrocanthosaurus one of the largest known carnivorous dinosaurs ever discovered, Acrocanthosaurus was first uncovered in Oklahoma by American paleontologist J. Willis Doval and Juan Langston Jr. in the year 1950. When it was first discovered, Acrocanthosaurus was originally thought to be closely related to the Jurassic predator Allosaurus. However, in the 1980s, given the spine on its back, it was then thought to be a species of Spinosaurid. Eventually, in the year 2013, cladistic analyses have found it to be a Carcharodontosaurid, therefore, related to Carcharodontosaurus of Africa and Gigantosaurus of South America. Like some carnivores, such as Allosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, the skull of Acrocanthosaurus was long, low, and narrow. Its skull alone was nearly 1.3 meters, 4.3 feet in length. The dinosaur itself measured 11.5 meters, 38 feet in length from snout to tail tip and weighed an estimated 6.2 metric tons, 6.8 short tons. This makes Acrocanthosaurus one of the largest predatory dinosaurs ever discovered. Armed with curved, serrated teeth, Acrocanthosaurus teeth were wider than those of Carcharodontosaurus and did not have the wrinkled texture that characterized the Carcharodontosaurids. Perhaps the most notable feature of Acrocanthosaurus, hence its name, was its row of tall neural spines, located on the vertebrae of the neck, back, hips and upper tail, which could be more than 2.5 times the height of the vertebrae from which they extended and supported a ridge of muscle over the animal's overall upper body. Most other dinosaurs also had high spines on the back, sometimes much higher than those of Acrocanthosaurus. For instance, the unrelated Spinosaurus had spines nearly 2 meters 6.6 .6 feet tall, about 11 times taller than the bodies of its vertebrae. The lower spines of Acrocanthosaurus had attachments for powerful muscles like those of modern bison, probably forming a tall, thick ridge down its back. While the exact function of the spines remains unknown, they may have been involved in communication, fat storage, muscle or temperature control as well as potentially to attract mates. All of its cervical, neck, and dorsal, back vertebrae had prominent depressions pleuroceles on the sides, while the caudal, tail, vertebrae bore smaller ones. This is more similar to Carcharodontosaurus than to Allosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus lived in the Twin Mountains and Antlers formations which were large floodplains that drained into a shallow inland sea. The Acrocanthosaurus coexisted alongside numerous types of dinosaurs in its environment, such as the smaller theropod Deinonychus, the ornithopods Iguanodon and Tenontosaurus, the spiky Nodosaurus, Sauropelta, as well as the titanic sauropod Sauroposidon.